Hi everyone, I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop and I'm just jumping on here today to do a quick thrift haul. We're not even going to do the cup of coffee, I'm not even zooming in like I normally do. I'm just going to dive in and tell you what's what because I'm busy with a lot of new inventory and I just want to get this up and uh, show you what I've got and then we'll get back to the more in-depth kitchen counter thrift hauls uh, next time around. So this looks like we're in the mid-century here and mugtastic. We'll start down here with these two uh, Fire King de-handled classic mugs. These are made by the Anchor Hawking Corporation and of course they are oven proof. Now they do not say Fire King and we can see the anchor inside of the square. So this is near the end of the run for these. Uh, any earlier than this, it would say Fire King. It is Fire King. It's just that they're just calling it now oven proof and they put the anchor in there. These mugs were made um, for, for quite some time and this would be near the end of the run. It's the same design as the uh, ones that come in Peach Luster and uh, Jadeite, but this is in the white color. And these still sell. Uh, okay, we'll go back to some other mugs. Here are the two, you saw these the other day. These are the two Jeanette um, powder jars, mid-century. I have one listed. Once it sells, I'll then list the other one. They're in excellent condition and you often see these listed as carnival glass candy dishes. They're not candy dishes and they're not carnival glass. It's iridescent glass from the 50s. And I think I've explained before why this isn't considered carnival glass. Um, basically because it was not made from 1904 to about 1930. It's not a traditional piece of carnival glass which is always embossed. Uh, as I've said before with grapes and cherries and birds and peacocks and all kinds of different symbols this comes much later and it's uh, not considered carnival glass by carnival glass quote-unquote carnival glass collectors and these were sold as powder jars for uh, for a vanity you want to put candy in it sure that'd be great little deer there and these are both in excellent condition no chips or cracks on either one and then over here are some Pyrex wheat mugs. I think it's called, oops, sorry, I didn't make you seasick. Is this called Harvest uh, something something? I don't remember, but these are both, what you see there, Pyrex. And uh, there are some, of course, Pyrex bowls that have this same wheat pattern on there. I think it's called Harvest something, but I can't remember. These two mugs also being sold as a pair and they're both an excellent. Nothing is chipped or cracked unless I tell you that it is and they're all very clean on the inside, no stains or anything like that. Okay, this is a uh, federal mug with a pearlescent finish on it and, um, and it's really pretty. It really looks like the rainbow you can see. Okay, probably again 60s or 70s and then this mug is federal as well probably a 1970s mug sort of milk glass on the inside with a fired on yellow color this one back here is west field uh in this either i don't know is that called gingham or plaid uh it's not plaid what do you call that uh, Italian restaurant tablecloth. Robert! Robert! Uh, that was my father's name, but my father did not drink coffee, so he would not have owned this. Alright, Bob, all the Bobs out there, this is for you. And they made these mugs with just about every name you can think of. If there is a Bob in your family, or a Robert, you might want to pick that up for Father's Day. And then back there are a set, I don't know who made those, because it doesn't say, but it's a set of five mugs with a pebbled, uh, sort of pebbly finish on it, you can see. See, there's nothing on the bottom. 
milk glass on the inside and, and this sort of thick textured outside. A set of five of those, and they're all really good. Now, it's all listed except for these are not listed, and Ziggy isn't listed. Uh, I think I listed them before and they didn't sell, or I know I listed that and it didn't sell. So what I'm going to say is if anybody's interested, um, Ziggy is $5, and the uh, pair of these Shamrock Irish Coffees are $8. Now that's without shipping, and if anybody's interested, just let me know. I'll sell them to the first person who mentions it in a comment. I'm really not trying to do um, live sales or anything. This isn't going to be a habit with me, but I just thought, well, I really don't know if anybody's interested or not. So $8 if you want both of these, and that does not include shipping. These are excellent. Irish coffees, don't know who made them. Okay, two of those. Eight dollars for the pair, and then five bucks for this if you're interested in it. Just let me know. Uh, Ziggy, and it says World's Worst Skier, 1977, and that's in good shape too. So just let me know in the comments. First person who does, um, I'll give me your email address, and we'll hook up and go from there. Okay. Those are the refrigerator dishes back there in the Pyrex uh, butter print. You saw me thrift. <laughs> I, that's the first one I found. I went back to the store five hours later the same day and found these. Now the lid that they had on this is the wrong lid. It's that. This is not a Pyrex lid. It does not fit. It looks like it fits, but it really does not fit. And so you're not getting this lid because it doesn't belong on that. These are all listed separately. That's listed all by itself. And this is in excellent condition. They're all in really excellent condition. The graphics are really strong and they have a nice shiny luster. No chips on that one. This one, the dish is in excellent condition. There is a chip on the lid. And the big one on the bottom, it too has a chip on its lid. Where are you? A little chip right there. And there is a tiny, and I mean tiny, flea bite, which is going to really be hard for you to see it. It's actually right there, and it's really tiny on the inside of that uh, dish, but not bad. What's nice is how strong the butter print graphic is on the outside and how clean these are. These are all listed separately. I wonder if the fourth one turned up in the in the thrift shop today who knows and then uh, also from I guess the 60s now this is made by West Bend although the there was a paper label right there which is gone but I'm gonna insert a photograph here so you can see what that paper label looked like West Bend okay it's gone but this is a uh, coffee carafe and you can see it's insulated and I love the mid-century design on it I also love uh, the Bakelite handle this reminds me of the radios from the 1950s this sort of black and brown uh, modeled uh, Bakelite and so this is not a vacuum seal or you know this just sits there to keep the coffee hot really nice mid-century design I love the handle and uh, there aren't any dents a few little scratches on it just from use but basically in really nice condition and then finally in this quick haul uh, the blue flower what is it corn blue corn flower corning tea kettle I'm not going to say it's rare, but I am going to say it's not that easy to find. If you find 100 coffee pots, uh, you'll find one tea kettle. They're just, they're just not out there. Uh, you know, it's kind of a, in my opinion, it's kind of a dumpy design, kind of clunky. And it is extremely heavy, even with nothing in it. Um, you know, you put water in this and you're talking five pounds. It's a very heavy pot. And it's in good condition. And you can see here, and uh, 
Okay, so there's the corning wear, and it says right, right there, uh, tea kettle. Can you see that? Did it focus? It might not have. Uh, this handle doesn't fold down. It stays up permanently like that. Let me see the inside. This has been used, but uh, I cleaned it up, and it really cleaned up beautifully. And I see these selling for as much as $60. I think I listed mine for like $29.99 at auction, and we'll just see where it goes. I think it already has one bid, uh, but there it is for all you uh, corning blue, blue cornflower. Is, am I saying that right? I think so. Uh, collectors. And... Okay, backing up here. I think that's it. I told you this was going to be a short one. All right, it's all listed in the old Curiosity Shop. The link to my shop uh, is in the description box below. If you don't know that, you can go down there and find it. Just click on it. It'll take you right to the eBay store. And uh, the auctions run for seven days. I think I started the auctions on most of this stuff either yesterday or the day before. Okay, I'll be back uh, tomorrow and the next day with more stuff from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, and some more Shop Along videos as well. I appreciate you subscribing and leaving comments. I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop saying thanks for watching, and so long for now. Salem. Sell them. Mm hmm. Well, quality control, are you satisfied? Hmm? Huh? Did everything meet with your standards? You see, the supervisor, he has to examine everything that comes in for quality control purposes. How's quality control today? Oh, you're going to lick your lips? Okay. Wash your face. Very good.